The Congress has won the Karnataka Assembly elections by gaining 136 votes. BJP was formidable but could not defeat the Congress party where it scored 63 votes. The JDS hardly scored 21 votes on the other hand. The counting of votes took place in 36 centres. Prime Minister Narendra Modi met with Toshi Shiabata, the CEO of Japanese semiconductor firm Renaissance Electronics. Both of them discussed technology and innovation in the field of semiconductors. The Prime Minister tweeted, had a productive meeting with Mr. Toshi Shiabata, CEO of Renaissance Global. India is planning to build an ambitious connectivity project that aims to link New Delhi to the Middle East. The purpose behind this is to counter China's influence in the Gulf region. National Security Advisor Ajit Doval held a meeting with the US and UAE counterparts in this regard. The meeting was also attended by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. With the tensions between Israel and Palestine in the Gaza Strip where at least 33 Palestinians and one Israeli died, Palestinian Islamic Jihad fired rockets at Jerusalem, Tel Aviv and Israeli settlements in the occupied West Bank. It is for the first time the PIG targeted Jerusalem. The financial ministers of the Group of Seven held a meeting in Niigata, Japan and expressed their full support for Ukraine and pledged to impose sanctions on Russia. They however refrained from overt mention about China. In the meeting, the leaders also made a joint statement about bringing down inflation and help debt-ridden countries. The results of the civic elections in Uttar Pradesh were declared today. According to the Election Commission, there are 17 municipal corporations, 199 municipality and 544 Nagar Panchayat seats. At the same time, 162 people's representatives were elected unopposed from all bodies together while 83,378 candidates were in fray for 14,522 posts. The picture has become clear regarding the mayor's seat in UP. BJP is winning all 17 seats. The Aam Aadmi Party won the bi-polls held in Jalandhar by a margin of 58,000 votes, breaking Congress's control over the place that they had for 24 years. Sushil Kumar Rinku from AAP defeated his Congress rival Karamjeet Kaur, whose husband Santok Chaudhary's death necessitated the bipole. The Indian Army has foiled an attempt of Pakistani terrorists to infiltrate the Uri sector. As per sources, there was an exchange of gunfire between the two sides. The Pakistan side tried to fly a quadcopter over the incident site but withdrew quickly after being fired on by the Indian side. An army officer has received minor injuries. A special investigation team probe into the fake Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery degrees by the Dehradun Police have discovered over 500 people posing as Ayurveda doctors. The scam is spread across Uttarakhand, Haryana, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh.